Jane. No. I do not believe it. And I am not going to listen to another word about it. Georgia, please. It is not true. I don't understand how you could sit there and, and let this rodeo tramp come in here and, and frighten your daughter half out of her wits and, and not even raise a hand. Georgia, shouting isn't going to help anything. He is putting words in Polly's mouth. Will you please sit down and listen? My daughter does not lie. She has never lied to me in her whole life. She doesn't hide things from me. Why, why even when she got the note from the teacher for, for talking in class, she, she brought it right home and showed it to me. And got sent to bed without a supper. Yes, because I will not spoil her or pamper her. Why, she's the best child in the neighborhood. She, she cleans her room and she takes care of her clothes and... But, Georgia, that's part of it. You want perfection, and it's too much to expect from a little girl. You, you'd spoil her if I'd let you. Uh, I never thought that I'd live to see the day that you'd take sides against your own family. Polly, how did you tear your dress? I, I fell out of the swing. On the way home, Mr. Keller saw you and thought the car hit you, and that's why you said it did. you lie to me? Because I was afraid you'd get mad at me and you wouldn't let me have my birthday party. Oh, Polly. I was afraid you would... You were afraid. You were afraid of me. 